People in New Richmond, they are talking about a new sign put up in New Richmond schools alerting the community that staff members may be carrying firearms in schools. So our Brenda Ordonia, she sat down with New Richmond superintendent to talk about the signs and also the district's new approach to gun violence. Brenda. Well, Megan, Trisha, today was the first day that students were turned back from break, and it was also the first day that approved staff members could conceal and carry firearms here on school grounds. Now, Superintendent Miller tells me that over break, they did put up those signs, which basically say that some staff members are armed and are prepared to execute whatever force necessary to protect their students. And the more we let people know that um, force could be and will be met with force, uh, the better off we, we stand of, of having a, de a deterrent effect. New Richmond Schools Superintendent Tracy Miller says new signs put up at the schools over winter break will do just that. Just to let our community and for visitors that come onto our campus know that we have policy in place that staff members here could be potentially armed. The signs are part of the district's new guidelines and policies which allow qualified staff members to carry concealed firearms at the schools. The Board of Education uh, really began to discuss this in earnest after Governor DeWine had signed it into law. Uh, there was the Uvalde shooting and that really kind of spurred the conversation to, to, to carry on to see if this is something that would uh, make sense for the new Richmond schools. Miller says those conversations lasted about two years and included creating policies and guidelines using input from various stakeholders, including first responders. It's a very, very significant decision. So it took a lot of time and it was finally, again, just a few months ago in September, October, when the policy was finally put into place. Under those policies and guidelines, staff members who wish to carry a concealed firearm at school must meet specific qualifications, like holding a valid gun license, completing specific training through the state of Ohio, and getting a mandatory drug screen. If approved, they will be required to conceal their weapon when they are carrying it at all times and will be given biometric safes for safe storage. Verified employees will only be allowed to chamber their firearms under specific conditions and can only use approved ammunition. This will make our district safer. And that's kind of our, our guiding principle is what are we doing everything we can to keep our staff and our students and our visitors here as safe as we possibly can. Now I talked to some residents with family members who attend these schools and a majority of them tell me that they're in favor of some staff members being armed. Miller does say that those who have been approved for this will need to continue meeting certain qualifications to keep their firearms here on school grounds. We will have a full breakdown of those policies and guidelines available for you on our website at www.fox19.com. Reporting live from New Richmond, I'm Brenna Ardonias, Fox 19 Now.